Hey guys, what's up? You've seen the title? Yes, sorry it's taken me so freaking long. I did make one, but then for some reason, well not for some reason, I kept getting newer games and I kept getting rid, get, bleh, getting rid of a lot of games. So, in the end, I just said fuck it and I got rid of the video because I got rid of like games that I showed and I got more games and I was just like fuck it, fuck it. So I waited a little while before I just before I stopped going on my spree because I went on a little spree for God knows what fucking reason. Um, my PS3 collection since I first got the PlayStation 3 has grown tremendously. Um, <clears throat> I when I first got the PlayStation 3 initially, I only ever got it for a handful of games. That was the Uncharted series, Metal Gear Solid 4, and a couple of other games. I can't remember what they were that were just PlayStation only. They were the only reason I got a PlayStation 3. Mainly from Metal Gear Solid, because obviously it was exclusive and I only had a 360. Um, and then I just kept seeing more and more games that were being either exclusive or that I could get on the PlayStation 3. And then when I found out that recording on the PS3 was a lot easier, I decided to get more on the PS3. Plus, I don't know, I just prefer playing on the PS3. I have played my, I have set up my Xbox recently, and I've started playing some more games on there. And I, I, I like both consoles, but I'm just, with the PS3, it's easy to record on, plus um, a lot of the games I enjoy playing on the PS3 more than I do my Xbox. So, without further ado, because this video is going to be long as fuck, because I have quite a lot of games. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I don't have that many downloaded, so I won't include them as part of the collection. Um, but if you guys are curious, then just ask me and I'll let you know, because I offhand, I don't actually remember what I have on there. So yeah, without further ado... Let's start this fucking <laughs> this collection video. First of all, Deus Ex Human Revolution. This game's pretty good. I haven't actually played it for a little while because I've, I've got quite a few games that I've been like getting stuck into and like really getting into it. But I don't mind this game so far. It's quite good. Um, I just need to get a bit more into it, I think. <clears throat> Assassin's Creed Revelation Special Edition. This came um, with the with exclusive stuff, so I could get uh, some a discount on um, like two of the other Assassin's Creed games, and it came with the first one. So I'm not actually I haven't played any of this yet. I've only actually played um, Brotherhood, and it, I'm kind of getting into it. It's taken me a little while, but I'm kind of getting no, no, fuck off, <laughs> fall enough for bed. Um. Yeah, so I'm still I'm still trying to get into the series um, because I've heard it's pretty good and it's okay. It's not bad. Mm. Avatar the game. Uh, I love the film. The film I was addicted to for a long while, <clears throat> and I bought the game on the Xbox. Loved it. Sold it for some reason, and then I bought the PS3 version. So yeah, I'm just blitzing through this one as well. Uh, I chose the avatars because because I was like through the whole film. I was like a fucking like really big fan of the avatars. So when I when it gave the option to like shoot them in that, I was like, nah mate, I ain't shit in the avatars, no way. Um, but there is a second playthrough that I have to do with the marines, so unfortunately I've got to do it. But whatever. Um, this game's pretty damn good, um, so I recommend it if you like the film and you think the game might be your cup of tea. The Last of Us, you guys know about this, the playthrough has taken me fucking ages to complete because I'm Ah, uh, it's just taking me, I have no idea why it's taking me so long to finish, I'm like this all my playthroughs if I'm honest, I take my time with them, and um, if that bothers you I am sorry, um, but that's just what I do, because I have to be in the mood to record, I can't just set up my recorder and just record, I need to be in the mood, I can't just sit there and go, yep, yeah, right, I'm going to record now, because if I just do that, just out of thin air, um, my commentary becomes really boring, because I'm not saying it's good anyway, but I'm just saying it becomes even more boring if it is already to you. Um, and I just, I just sound bored, so yeah. But anyway, this game, pick it up, it's good. Um, Earth Defense Force, Insect Armageddon. Um, I came across, uh, the one on the PS2, I think it's called Global Defense Force, and, um, it's basically just an arcade sort of style, third person, just arcade shooter, really, you just kill loads of alien, um, insects, and on the first one, on the PS2, uh, you kill the same sort of thing, just aliens and insects and that, and it's pretty damn good. I've completed both of them. They're addicting as fuck. Monster Madness Grave Danger, one game that I never really heard of, and then when I picked it up, I wondered why I hadn't heard of it, because games like this I fucking love. I know there's an Xbox version, but I picked up the PS3 version, because obviously I wanted to record it, blah blah blah. But you guys seem to be enjoying it. I, I'm, I'm, I'm quite enjoying it myself. I think it's a pretty damn good game, actually. Um, I highly recommend it, because it's cheap as fuck now, so might as well try it out. I heard the Xbox One was the Xbox version wasn't as good, but I think they're both basically the same game anyway. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. 
Call of Duty Black Ops 2. I only have this for the online and sometimes zombies because um, the story, I think, is poo. A load of shit. Um, <clears throat> one of my more recent buys is Tekken 6. Um, this, I've completed the story. I didn't care about the story whatsoever because fighting games, I've never cared about the story whatsoever. Um, the story was annoying, but good at the same time. The fighting's okay. It's just turned very juggly and the final boss has now turned into retardedly difficult. So, yeah, it's okay, but I think my favourite games will stay with Tekken 2 and 3, thanks. <clears throat> Bulletstorm. This game I was genuinely surprised about. I actually picked up this game because I'd seen some gameplay and it looked okay. Um, but I honestly thought it would just be a game that I played through, completed, and then sold. Um, and not kept in my collection. But as I kept playing, I got more and more immersed into the gameplay. And more and more the gameplay than the story, but I was getting immersed into the story as well. But it's just the way that, just, I don't know, it's something about the game that I just fucking love. Like, the things you can do in this game is just so fucking random and shit. But it's pretty good. Um, if you, it's really cheap now, so I recommend it. Either Xbox, PS3, whatever, because it's on both anyway. White Knight Chronicles. I haven't played this yet. Um, I actually got this cheaper than it was in the shop, because when I went to the shop, the label said £5, but it had gone up to 8 quid. Um, but because the label said £5, the shop said they, uh, the shop had to give it to me for a fiver. I didn't actually, I would have happily paid 8 quid for it, but it's actually the law, believe it or not. In the shop, if something's labelled the price, uh, I think it's the law anyways, it's policies within pretty much every company. If it's labelled a price, you have to sell it at that price. You can't sell it at a different price because then, I don't know what it comes under. But either way, yeah, so I got it for a fiver instead of eight quid, so that was pretty handy. I haven't played it yet. Um, I need to get around to it because one of my friends, when I told one of my friends that I just bought that, they said, dude, you need to fucking play that shit. So that's always a good sign. Just Cause 2. I haven't played this in a while, but I put about fucking 15 hours into it or something. Um, I, haven't, I haven't played it <clears throat> for long. I haven't really played much of the story but because I've just been fucking about. It's, it's a good game. It's quite fun. Um, it's just really, really big and it gets a bit boring sometimes. That's all. But it's staying in my collection anyway because it's good. Good pastime. Another one that's recently come into my collection because <clears throat> I took my girlfriend out for the day um, into a different area. Um of England and I went into a game shop and I found this which I've been after for a long long time the orange box um, I had it on the Xbox and I lent it to a friend who still has it funnily enough um, but uh, I never because he lives in a different area now because I moved like years ago um, I just never got around to getting it back so he I thought fuck it he can keep it I'm not gonna just like go all the way back down you know pay like tenner just to go all the way back down to where he lives and pick it up again so I got this it was ten pounds the PS3, and um, I love all of these games, they're all really good games, um, but I'm not the kind of, I mean, I make jokes about Valve not counting to three, but I really don't care, because if you think about it, Half-Life 2, Episode 1 and 2, that's three games still, so they may have done something right, I guess, <laughs> <coughs> but no, good thing, Dragon's Dogma I've had for a little while, it's taken me a little while to get into it, um, it's not a bad RPG though, it's pretty damn good. I was a bit sceptical, um, because I never really, I don't know, I just, I looked at it, I was just like, it just looks like one of those really sort of tedious things, but it's actually alright, it's not too bad, um, I quite like it, uh, it's quite cheap now, I think, so, if you guys are into RPGs made by Capcom, go for it. Here's another one that I picked up recently, that's really strange, and it's okay, but just really, Blaz Blue? I always said Blaze Blue because I thought it was Blaze Blue, but it's all Blaz Blue, which is a really fucking weird name. But whatever, it's an okay game. It's it's just a sort of car, um, animated fighter. Um, yeah, it's it's alright. It's pretty good. Um, f f trust me to pick the f the first character I picked was a fucking woman who doesn't like to cover up her chest. Fucking trust me to pick that character. It's it's okay. It's not a bad game. Um, not really much I can say about it. It's I've never really played sort of though that sort of animated fighting game. I've always played sort of like polygon ones like Tekken and shit. So Max Plane 3, never played it. <laughs> I've never played this. I bought it brand new ages ago and never played it. I've played the first one. I haven't finished it though, legitly. I finished it when I was younger, but I used infinite ammo and health cheats because I was like going through the phase of using cheats on everything, so I haven't legitly completed the first or second one, so I need to get around to that series eventually. I'm playing through the first one though, that's so Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, this is the one that I started off with, um, I really couldn't get into the first one, no matter how much I tried, I just really couldn't get into it. I'm kind of getting into this one, kind of, 
But I'm struggling. I'm still struggling to get into the series. That's why I'm not buying any more of them just yet. If I can't get into the old ones, I might not be able to get into the new ones either. So, 